What's up guys? It's Colin from the Lacrosse Network. If you've been following along with my traditional tutorial, you'll know that we basically just strung up an entire traditional stick. We put in the sidewalls, the leathers, all of the cross lace, and the three shooting strings. Now, there's one more modification you can make if you want a little bit more flexibility in terms of pocket depth and a little bit more hold when you're doing a one-handed cradle. If you take a look at my stick here, you'll see that at the bottom, the center two leathers are cut and they're attached to the head with nylon strings. The reason for this is that I strung this stick and I broke a bottom leather within the first two weeks. So instead of just throwing the pocket away as a quick fix, I figured I could cut both the leathers, put slits in them, and attach them with nylons. And I discovered that when I did this, it allowed me to make my pocket smaller or bigger as I needed it, and that when I was one-handed cradling, the nylons allowed for a nice little section here for the ball to almost actually get stuck in. So it's not illegal, but it gives it a little bit extra hold here when I'm one-handed cradling. So if you just strung your stick, I would suggest using it for two to three weeks and seeing how you like it. If you don't feel like you have these problems and you feel like you have enough hold and your pocket's as deep as you want, then I wouldn't even add this modification. But if you do, then I'll show you how to do it. To make this modification, you're gonna start by taking the two middle leathers out of their holes and marking with a pen where you're gonna eventually cut them. You then take the pen and mark where you're gonna cut slits in the leathers. And now, with supervision if you need it, go ahead and cut those slits in the leathers. Now, take your extra sidewall slack and tie the loose ends into a knot. After you do this, cut the ends, leaving about an inch, burn them, and once they're ready, go ahead and put the two ends up through the bottom of the stick into those two bottom holes where the leathers used to be. You'll take the right nylon and put it down through the left hole and the left nylon and put it down through the right hole. Once you do this, you loop back up and put each respective nylon up through the leather and through those holes you just made. Then you're gonna tie a knot and you're basically good to go. As you can see, now we've got this adjustable bottom that we were talking about. 